what is up everybody and today we're doing a trailer reaction on chucky season three this is a show that i've enjoyed overall i think season one is really good as a flowing season it's one of the best i do wish i owned the first season so i can rewatch it i don't want to when i rewatch shows i try to buy it on disc and not rely on netflix and peacock and hulu and disney plus and paramount plus because eventually this is, it just starts costing monthly, and by the time you hit a year, you spend almost $60. It's just, buying it physically is better. Um, Chucky Season 1 on Blu-ray is like $20, and then $25 for Season 2. Season 1, I overall enjoyed as a flowing narrative of a story, was very good. Um, but then, you know, I did like the finale, people were like, eh, it's okay. Um, I did not like Season 2. Like, there's moments that I think it's amazingly good. And then there's, like, the ending that's wasted. Um, they kill off a lot of characters. I don't really appreciate that they did. They change some character dynamics. They make a lot of Chucky dolls. I mean, some cool moments. Like, it's iconic. It can be iconic. I just think it's wasted. And then Tiffany is wasted in this sh in Chucky. Like, she is so wasted. Um, I kind of wish she didn't exist in this show anymore. Because, I mean, she's just trash. But, um... Let's see what they're doing this season. It comes out in October. October is a weird month. Like, there's almost no movies coming out. But then, yeah, Finance of Friday's in Chucky. So, I, and Saw X is, like, the week um, before October. So, I'm excited for horror movies. I'm, I'm a horror movie. I love horror movies. But same time, I don't because there's some generic ones and they frustrate me. But, let's go ahead and check out Chucky Season 3. And let me know what, you, what was your favorite Chucky movie and how you guys like the show overall. Yeah, let's go ahead and begin. It has this weird timeline thing. Okay. Daddy, he wants to go to work with you today. Okay. I think this is to see the Oval Office. Yeah, Target to see this. Mr. President, did you ever find the letter opener? I did not. I also managed to lose track of Henry's doll somehow. Wait. You're on, Butler. Better not be. Like I said, I, I really enjoyed the trailer. Um, I love Chucky. Like, Chucky is one of those characters that um, I've been watching since I was a kid. It's the first ever horror icon I've ever watched in my life. So, it's, it, it's crazy how it keeps going on. But I, what's weird, this is so random, though. This is a trailer, so I'm not going to go ahead and go, oh, it's already bad enough. But right now, it's fine. I love Chucky though. Like overall, it does create suspense, but I'm actually gonna dislike this because it didn't show anything that's a flowing narrative. Like I was saying before, is that Chucky it needs a flowing narrative throughout the season, and season two really fell off for me. Like if I rewatch it, I won't like it as much. I like the first five episodes. And after that, I can take or leave some. This is like in Washington D.C. Okay, that's random. Why are we here? You know, and you see no original characters. You see Chucky. So, and that's my biggest problem with some horror movies is that they always want to reboot and do legacy sequels. And I hope this just makes, I hope this season can make it flowing like a bow to the show or the series or they make it great and then they do another season and they end it. Because I don't want this to go on for so long and then when people start hating it and then they end it because it's not getting enough people to watch. Um... Yeah, that's my opinion on it. I don't think it's going to be terrible. Like I said, I'm a big Chucky fan, so I can't really hate this. Like, it's for it's hard for me to hate a Chucky stuff, like, at all. Like, I, the only movie I really hate is Cold Chucky. I've barely watched the Chucky. I only watched it twice, and I haven't watched it ever since, like, a year, almost two years ago. So, we don't know about that. But this trailer reaction has me 
interested but worried because I don't know what it's about. You know, it's a teaser. But, you know, when we got, like, a No Way Home teaser, like, we know what we're getting into. You know what I mean? Like, this is no story. So, that's kind of how I was feeling with the Final Fantasy trailer as well. But then, it picked me up as well. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't like that it's on sci-fi. I was thinking to release it, like, on Netflix or something. Um, I forget. Oh, no, Universal owns the rights to Chucky, I believe. But they have it on sci-fi. The show. But the movies are on Universal's pretty much um how they do it but let me know what you guys think i'm very con interested we'll just see um i just don't know i want a flowing story with my core icons like i don't like when it's very like uh, like ever since the show it's been kind of like up down eh, and chunky season two really put it in the middle for me i liked it but then i didn't like it it's weird because episodes like the last episode makes you like what is going on um, so, but yeah, I'll see you guys next the reaction. I kind of went a lot of rants on this one because yeah, I, I'm like interested, but at the same time, very like nervous because I don't know what they're going to do and I don't want them to mess it up, you know, and Chucky's been going on for, since the 19, 1988 and I don't want it to get this turn bad. Like, you know, the Halloween trilogy is a big definition of this where Halloween 2018 was a good movie. I loved Kip. I loved Kills. People didn't. I'm doing it as the fans' reception, and people hate ends, and I liked it. But as an overall finale, that it was just terrible, and I don't want Chuck to become like that, where you have like a beginning, Chuck's two is the middle ground, and then season three is the ending, but it doesn't make sense. So, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.